Mayor Duggan talked about this new approach in a speech that just wrapped up in the past hour at the Mackinac Policy Conference. And it is called a land value tax plan, and it places less of a burden on homeowners and more on the owners of vacant land. Devin Skillion is live on Mackinac Island for us tonight, and this has really been a major issue, Devin, and a barrier in terms of keeping people in Detroit. It's really massive, Karen and Kimberly. We all sort of marvel at the ability of Mayor Mike Duggan to sort of wonk out on policy. He just finished about 40 straight minutes here talking about almost nothing but uh, the problems with property taxes in the city of Detroit. He uh, came in, Apollo couldn't believe that he'd almost lost his voice. I'm going to assume that was from spending the weekend preparing uh, for his PowerPoint. Uh, but he said, imagine how unfair it is to lose your voice just before one of the world's biggest gab fests. And that is the Mackinac Policy Conference. He started by bragging a little bit about uh, the news that we brought you earlier here today at 5. The third time this year that Detroit's unemployment rate has dropped, and now it's the lowest since they started keeping that record 33 years ago. But then he moved in to a major crisis for many Detroiters, and that's trying to solve the property tax issue. So why don't we just cut our property taxes? Whoever you thought this, we should cut your property taxes, right? You can be mayor. Why? Right? No, no, no mayor in 50 years said we should cut our property taxes. If the vacant lots in Detroit drive you crazy, you're not alone. The problem is there is very little incentive for anyone to do much about them. The current rules mean that someone owning a vacant plot of land in Detroit pays just about $30 a year in taxes. So, of course, buying an empty property and sitting on it for years has become standard practice. The mayor says it's time to put it to an end. And you think this just started? This is State Senator Coleman Young, his first campaign for mayor in 1973. And here's what he said on the trail. Right now, Detroit's tax structure rewards people who let their properties run down and penalizes those who build it up. Crazy, isn't it? 50 years ago. Meanwhile, Detroiters who do live in their homes have been infamously overtaxed on their properties. The mayor's plan addresses them, too. Under the plan, Detroiters would see a property tax reduction of about 30 percent, knocking down one of the long-standing disincentives for people buying in the city. This is going to be, if we can do this, the biggest building of wealth of Detroiters in history. Well, think about that. And now the way that he sees this, by lowering the property tax rates on people who are in their homes by 30% and raising them on those empty lots, uh, all that vacant property, this ends up being revenue neutral, but it sort of pays for itself by realigning the money. It doesn't just happen, unfortunately, overnight. It won't happen with just the mayor's say-so or the city council say-so. It's going to be, have to be approved by the legislature, and then it would also have to be approved by Detroit voters. But you'd have to imagine Detroit Detroit voters won't have any problem voting a tax cut for themselves. Oh, most definitely. At the Mackinac Policy Conference, Devin Skillion, Karen and Kim, Billy, back to you. You can hear the music in the background. All right, we appreciate it, Devin. <laughs> yeah.